Professor Jeffrey Sachs, Director Earth Institute at Columbia University and Special Advisor to UN Secretary General on Millennium Development Goals, together with Josette Shiran, Executive Director World Food Program, on 24th of July visited Uhira to witness how lives are being transformed in the Millennium Villages project that reaches half a million people across 10 countries in Africa, including Uganda. At Umwichwamba School, one of the 21 schools supported by the Millennium Villages Project, the delegation made a stopover to witness how the school has made a sustainable school feeding program with significant contribution from the Millennium Villages Project, the community and local government. The school feeding program is one of the most successful interventions within the education sector. Children were leaving school at lunchtime, going home, walking three, four, five kilometers over very rough terrain to go home and have lunch, and the chances of them coming back in the afternoon were very low. So with the introduction of a school feeding program, enrollment has increased to around 89%, and girls are being retained in school. The children are generally just more enthusiastic about learning. We feel that this is a very, very important intervention within the project. Actually, we began with zero contribution from them. Now we had five kilograms. The ultimate aim is to get all the eight kilograms we need from them, and they willingly do that. Mm -hmm. So now the food has been taken for eating. The children participate, and they learn how to grow the various vegetables. Many, many children, even from outside the area, uh, the project area, are now coming in those schools just because of that feeding program for every school now to get first grade, first grades in the various primary living examinations. Yeah. 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 So we began there, that is nice. and now yeah. we are here. So a meal is being prepared for these children to have lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is a typical kitchen in a school. So those are the beans being prepared, oh, so nice. and this is the food. Wow. Yeah. That is a lot of food. Yeah. So this That's is enough to feed 600? Uh, yes, this is enough to feed the 600 children. When we started school feeding program, 2006-2007, uh, uh, about 60% of the students, of the pupils in this school, would, would come with no packed food. So in the afternoon, they would go back in the village to look for food. And that one would actually impact on the academic performance in the class. Uh, previously, there was an average of around three first grades per year. Now there's an average of 26. And as of 2009, the first girls ever to uh, achieve first grades were in the Millennium Village of Rohira. So four girls achieved first grade in 2009, which was unprecedented. So we really think this is a very clear indicator that one meal a day is having on the overall success of the education sector. The next stop was the Grain Warehouse, owned and managed by the Ruhira Tuimuke Women's Association. The delegation was here to officially commission the Women's Warehouse. So the beans, the crops are grown by a group of women. It's an association called Ruhira Tuimuke Women's Association. And uh, all that we do as MVP is to facilitate market linkages, uh, to negotiate with World Food Programme, 
Now we have this partnership arrangement which is going to make things even much better. At the Women's Grain Warehouse, the association's chairperson, Mrs. Florence Kakiza, addressed the delegation and later it was the signing of the Uganda World Food Program Millennium Villages Project Joint Action Plan. The association has 1,100 members. We have been able to store 153 metric tons of, of beans which was sold to World Food Program by 200 individual farmers and three groups, which had 68 members. We have in store 55 metric tons of beans with a contract from World Food Program. When there is surplus, we will look to buy as much as we can. This year it was about 250 metric tons because there was surplus. Uh, we hope to buy up to 500 or even more metric tons uh, in the future. That is my pledge today. Four years since the start of the project, we see tremendous progress here. And we will stay until 2015 together with this community. And we will expand the project in this area. Uh, so I'm very, very excited about the partnership that we have. and from the local level and the district chairman and the member of parliament to the president and the first lady. This is a, a very wonderful partnership and we look forward to much more ahead. Officer Jeffrey Sachs then proceeded to commission construction of the Ruhira piped water scheme, which is to serve an estimated population of 6,500 people, totaling to about 1,200 households. It was a project that was starting when the project was starting. We are using very dirty water. Uh, continue, continue. We are using very dirty water. Yes. At the amount by when yeah, people would uh, utilize the water would just come. And and not to collect. This scheme comprises of multiple spring sources which all will be coming and bringing the water into these two storage tanks, a total storage capacity of 100 cubic meters. We will be having the pump houses here, and from here we shall have the water pumped to the highest point in Ruhira, where from we shall distribute it downstream to cover the entire design population. Thank you for the wonderful work that you've been doing. It's so impressive. The world knows about it because people admire what's happening here. And let's continue, continue to build, continue to make sure that uh, this is a community uh, ending hunger, ending poverty, uh, building for the future, investing in business, uh, and making sure that every child in this community has a bright future uh, through education and good health. Let's continue to do that. We'll be together to 2015. And I count on Rohira and I'm confident that Rohira will achieve all of the Millennium Development Goals.